Welcome back to another YouTube exclusive video where we're going to make our 49ers diamond pick of the week. Now, we did start 0-2 so far in our betting, but there was a little weird situation going on because Trey Lance got hurt. Why don't you dig into what happened the previous week with our bets and where we're at so far? All right. So uh, we're down. We're down a little bit, you know, but that means we're due. So I'm feeling pretty good about this week. So week one, we took the 49ers to cover the spread. Uh, and they kind of they kind of shit the bet on us, <laughs> you know? On we'll, the take, monsoon. we'll take that L on the chin. We'll yeah, take that I'll, I'll take chin. that every week. But last week, we put our diamond pick of the week of Trey Lance to have over 189 and a half yards. And I felt pretty good about it. Uh, Trey Lance came out. He threw a dime to Brandon Ayuk. We were both like, oh, let's go. Uh, and then he snapped his ankle. So that's where we're at. Uh, we're down 2-0. We even put another $50 on Brandon Ayuk to have over 80 yards in the 49ers win. He just missed it. But this week, we're coming back and we're coming hard. Yeah, let's and, ride. Uh, pause, Ime Udoka over there <laughs> with the coming hard. But – uh, I think we would have won the Brandon Ayuk bet if Trey Lance is healthy because the connection those guys have is way better than the Jimmy. The, the second Jimmy went on the field, I text you, we lost. We lost this bet uh, yeah. because they're not throwing it down the field anymore. And they did, you know, there was a couple passes I saw, especially uh, that P PI call that Brandon Ayuk, but I was like, no, we're not getting this bet. We're just going to take our elbow, start thinking about next week. So moving forward, what are we feeling this week? What's the spread? What are some good props? Yes. Yeah, so this week, the 49ers take on the Denver Broncos in Sunday night football. The spread is looking pretty tasty. So it is 49ers are the favorite by one and a half points. Uh, they have a money line of minus 124 and the over under is 44. So let's just go ahead and pause right there. I like the 49ers in this matchup. I even said at the beginning of the week, there is nothing, nothing that the Denver Broncos do that is better than the 49ers. Their offense is better. Their defense is better. Special teams, Robbie Gold, I'm expecting him to kick it out of the fucking field because of the elevation, but I feel good. Um, so I would take that spread. I think one and a half is easy money, but what are your thoughts on it? I feel, I feel great about if we want to just play it safe, the straight up win 49ers against Denver. I feel amazing about that. Um, but as far as covering the spread, it's not a terrible spread either. It's actually pretty good. The over under, I, I don't know yet with this team. I need more of a sample of, is this a team that's going to put up over 21 consistently? Or is this a team that's going to win field goal shootouts? Uh, I know on Denver side of the ball that they're putting up 17 and 16 a game. But can the 49ers produce points? Can they put up four touchdowns in a game? I don't know that yet. Uh, so I'd like to stay away from the over-under. Yeah, and I mean, the Broncos, I don't really trust them either. They were, like, throwing out the kitchen sink just to score those amount of points against the Seahawks and the Texans. And we already seen with that common opponent, you know, by football logic and football math, the 49ers smack them up. So I feel – 100% comfortable with that spread, but let's go ahead and take a look at some other props. So um, one that I was interested in was the over under for passing yards. I wanted to see maybe we could get Russell or um, Jimmy Garoppolo for like a sweet because they're like, oh, you know, they haven't Russell hasn't really been tossing it too much. Jimmy Garoppolo is just coming in. We're not really sure what to expect, but the over under for yards, uh, this is actually surprising. So Jimmy Garoppolo is uh, slated for a higher over under than Russell Wilson. So Jimmy Garoppolo's over under is uh, 235 and a half. And Russell Wilson is 230 and a half. So they're giving Jimmy that five yards. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? What the fuck have they been watching? <laughs> uh, <laughs> how can you watch a full season of Jimmy play football and say, yeah, we think this guy could throw for 235 yards. Uh, this is a guy that I fully – I thought if the over-under was at 140 yards, I would consider betting the under. This is a guy that I don't – I didn't want to watch play a full season of football anymore as the Niners quarterback 
because I'm tired of seeing those 120 passing yard games in a, a tight game. You know, uh, I think two thir- this is a ridiculous line for, for Jimmy G. Russell Wilson, I'm, I mean, who knows what this offense is going to be. They look out of, out of sorts with their play calling and their situational awareness, but it still is Russell Wilson. Maybe is it him still? I don't know where he's at physically and mentally, but some people say he's still the same. Some people say he's not. It's a big question mark. So, I, I mean, both these unders would be decent bets. Yeah, that's exactly my thoughts. Um, with the 49ers, quote, unquote, airing it out last week, although it was like three and a half quarters for Jimmy Garoppolo, he still only had like 180 yards. So to make that jump, to you're expecting him with another half of a quarter to do another 50 yards. I just think that's, you know, I'll take that under every single day. Um, yeah, and Russell Wilson, I just don't trust the guy. So I would just take that under just because he doesn't look good. The offense doesn't look in sync. The receivers just, they're not DK Metcalf. They're not Tyler Lockett. They don't have that comfortability yet. I would take that under on that too. And so moving forward to rushing yards, um, this one is interesting to me. Debo Samuel over under rushing yards is 32 and a half. That one is a tasty line for me. So both weeks, he's actually gone over 50 uh, yards rushing. Uh, We know that Elijah Mitchell's out. We know that Ty Davis price is out. So it's going to really just be Jeff Wilson Jr. They're bringing up Jordan Mason and they've uh, to the number two slot. And Marlon Mack has been elevated from the practice squad. So again, I'm expecting Debo Samuel to get a healthy amount of carries. Yeah. And I think moving forward for the rest of the season, if this over under for Debo's rushing yards doesn't surpass like the 40, 50 yard mark, I think it could be a lock every week to bet the over. And most times you'll win. I, I think Kyle doesn't trust a lot of these running backs anymore. And he'd rather just go with the for sure productive guy in Debo. And especially that Jimmy is not going to be a like downfield thrower of the ball. Debo needs to get the ball some way. And that's going to be running the ball mostly. So uh, that's a great pick for an over. Yeah. And one interesting note for rushing yards, Russell Wilson over under eight and a half rushing yards. What are your thoughts? If this was Russell two, two, three years ago, I'd say this is uh, I put as much money in my bank account on that over, but can, is he still mobile? Can he run? Is he getting out of the pocket? And especially with the athleticism of this D line, even if he got a couple quarterback, you know, sneaks up the middle, get four yards about, can he run for a five yard run against this team? I don't know. It's dangerous. It's dangerous to go against this linebacking core and this, the, the edges of this defense. So tough call. Yeah. I just thought that was super interesting. Um, eight and a half. And I, I wouldn't feel good about it either way because the 49ers have been burned by mobile quarterbacks, but again, like is Russell a mobile quarterback still? I don't think so. The fact so. that the betting line is at eight and a half should tell you everything you need to know about Russell Wilson right now. Yeah, that. that's true. Um, other things that are interesting receiving yards, Jeff Wilson, Jr. Over under 11 and a half yards. That that's, that's a tough one. Cause I could easily see him, uh, catching a lot of these dinks out of the backfield, dinks and dunks and going for extra yardage. So, I mean, definitely a, a interesting bet, but you know, that Kyle doesn't trust any of these running backs. He's going to rotate in Debo out of the backfield, Juice out of the backfield, Kittle's back. So that's going to be a real check down target. Is Jimmy going to spread the wealth like consistently amongst all these guys? I don't know. It's hard. It's a hard sell for this one. I think it only takes one, man. It only takes one. Um, If I wasn't so sure about my betting pick moving forward, I might sprinkle a little bit on that. And I might even go back and sprinkle some on the over. Um, But it's just, you know, TBD. Let's see. Here's here's my thing with Kyle, though. Say Jeff Wilson starts the game. 
after if run or two, he doesn't get it going. Jordan Mason comes in and he's moving the ball. We're not going to see Jeff Wilson come back into the game. That's true. Like Kyle is riding for sure the hot hand. And even if Jeff Wilson is running good, he could switch it up, switch the game plan entirely and just go with Debo in the backfield and go with Jordan Mason and go with Marlon Mack. Like we don't know who's consistently going to be flaring out of the backfield. And that's what concerns me with uh, Jeff Wilson. Where like, maybe he gets deemed up. Maybe he's not running. Maybe he's not of last game, Jeff Wilson, but the game before where he doesn't look explosive at all. And Kyle just shuts him down. So that's always a risk with Kyle. Yep. All right. I mean, so we've talked about a couple of these bets. Um, I feel pretty confident with my pick. Uh, are we, are we good to you? You good to go? I think we're ready to make pick. All right. So. I think the pick is the 49ers minus one and a half. I'm ready to lock that in. I think we, I feel really, really confident about it. So I'd even be willing to try to make up the losses and do either 150 or 175 on it. What are your thoughts? I think this is going to be a win for the Niners. And that spread isn't a ridiculous spread. It's pretty easy, pretty attainable. I think, you know, we could we could put the 175 on this. Like that's a pretty solid bet. All right. Let's lock it in. That is our diamond pick of the week. We got to get a win here. We can't start 0 and 3. No, yep, we got to we got to hit it. We got to hit it. And then a second bet that, you know, if we wanted to really throw something in there, just a little touch on top. Debo over. Debo I would feel over. comfortable with that. Debo over on the rush rushing yards. So maybe we go 150 on the spread and then 25 just on that Debo. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Then I'll do the 150, the 49ers to cover, and 25 Debo Samuel over rushing yards. Let's do it. Lock it in. That's the diamond pick of the week. And we'll see you guys next week to go over how much money we won. Oh, yeah. And if you like this, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. It really does help us as far as the algorithm. And we are streaming the full podcast on all platforms. So be on the lookout for that. See you guys.